He is the former district attorney in Bear County, but now Nico LaHood is becoming a podcaster and promising R-rated content. I'm not a fake Christian. I don't have a fish on the back of my car. I'm all tatted up. I was arrested for selling drugs when I was younger. Eyewitness News reporter John Coker talks to LaHood about his plans for R-rated Christianity when it debuts this week. I'm not a bull Christian. My brother was murdered in my driveway. My son was diagnosed on the spectrum of autism. And I got a lot of earthly reasons to be f***ed off at God. It's not quite what you'd expect from a typical preacher on a Sunday morning. But according to former Bear County DA Nico LaHood, the gospel message is more important than the preacher's methods of communicating it. That Bible is R-rated because it's dealing with people wrapped in this stuff called flesh. We just have to be real and not put on a show for people and, and Jesus meets us where we're at. It's called R-rated Christianity. It's a new live stream Bible study LaHood will kick off this week on social media with no filters. Just the truth, the raw truth, and nothing but the truth. I, mean, I promise you Ephesians 4.29 when God was inspiring that he was not thinking of the F word or anything else. It's a social construct for English in 2019. Now, that's not, that language is not acceptable in certain environments, but it depends on the environment. The Hood says his goal is not to preach a perfectly canned message, but to simply represent an imperfect man in pursuit of a perfect God. And Jesus hung around some broken people. That's just the bottom line. And they were flocking to him. Why? He wasn't singing Kumbaya. I mean, he was talking real with people. And as an aggressive attorney, he plans to do the same. I look at it as myself to be a litigator for the Lord. And so Jesus is my main client and I advocate for his worldview. And I've seen the effects on people once they truly humble themselves and commit themselves and understand it. I've seen the transformation. John Coker reporting, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.